In the previous video, we saw how to set and clear bits on an AVI microcontroller. In this video, we'll go a little deeper and find out what data types are while coding in C, why they are important and all, all of that stuff. So in this tutorial, we'll look at what uh, data types are and do they really matter? And uh, what are the common data types that are used and are there any custom data types that you can define? Now, data types basically tell uh, when you define a variable while writing a C program, a data type data type tells the compiler as to how much amount of space needs to be allocated for that particular variable. So uh, they are basically, you know, it could be uh, something analogous to containers that you have. So uh, depending on what you want to store, uh, you get containers of that particular sizes. And uh, do, do they really matter? I mean, if you're writing program on a computer, uh, it may not always matter because the computer has a fair amount of RAM and, and all of that. But as we saw in the, I mean, the last video, the RAM that you have on a controller is just on, on the, uh, for, to be specific on the 80 mega 32, you just have two kilobytes of RAM. So that is 2048 bytes or approximately two kilobytes. I mean, it's just that. So uh, you should be careful in defining data, data types. So we'll explore that in a little while. Now, uh, so let us go ahead and see what are the common data types that, that you find. So first, we, what we have is uh, an unsigned char. So this basically, uh, it's a, so this is the first data type that you come across and this is eight bits. So the size of this is one byte or eight bit for AVR. So this is it. Now, what you have here is you can store when you define a variable of unsigned char type, you can store a variable which is eight bits in size. So what does that mean? So that me what that means is you can store and you know if this location is a memory, so whatever variables you declare, they go into the static RAM of a microcontroller. And if that is the case, then what you can store in this particular location on the RAM is ones and zeros. Now the minimum value that you can store on this is all zeros. And the maximum that you can store is all ones. Now, if if you convert this these values from binary to decimal, this would be zero to 255 that is 2 to the power 8 minus 1 since we are starting from 0 so so these are you know so eventually what you could store is uh, the numbers 0 to 20 255 in one location of the RAM when you define a variable as unsigned char now uh, so why is it called a character data type. Primarily, this data type was meant to store ASCII characters. So if you look at the ASCII table, so what it does is for all of the binary values that, that you have, all of the 255 values, you will have a corresponding ASCII number. And ASCII, by the way, it's its way to store characters on a computer. So eventually, whatever you store, whether it could be letters A, B, C, D or special symbol, they eventually get stored as binary numbers. And the range of those numbers is 0 to 255. So in simple words, it is just a mapping of binary numbers to ASCII 
uh, you know the the characters that we use often so uh, you could use this un unsigned character uh, data type to either store numbers which are between 0 to 255 or you could uh, you know store uh, ascii value for a number so eventually what you will be storing is again a number from 0 to 255 so to make that clear let us look at the ascii table now this is uh, the ascii table so basically it's not a 0 to uh, 255 it's just 0 to 127 and what you could see here is this is uh, you know the numbers in decimal so so decimal in blue it runs from 0 to 127 and in hex uh, the the corresponding hex would be 0 to 7f and what you have is what does that represent in uh, in in you know in ASCII or what is the symbol for that particular number now what you could see here is so we have the normal numbers from 0 to 9 which start from 48 to 57 in decimal or you have a lettuce from 65 so this is capital letter A and this runs from A to Z and from 65 to 90 similarly you have small letters and other special symbols now so what eventually gets stored is like say we want uh, to store the letter 65 or the uh, letter a so what eventually gets stored is the number so 65 in hex is 41 so what that means is for letter a what you store here is 41 so 0 one zero zero and this is zero zero one so this is 41 so whenever we store uh, i mean whenever you declare a, val a variable as character and when uh, when the compiler compiles the code and when it stores it in the ram it stores this binary pattern like say for example if i define a variable if i define a variable like this So it was it was ASCII value for capital A. So if you define a variable like this, what the compiler does is it converts this. It looks it up in lookup table and uh, converts it converts this ASCII character to a uh, you know binary digit, and this information is stored in the RAM. Now you could also use this data type to store a number like say unsigned care uh, sorry the, the definition here let me just correct that so this is the name of the data type it should be followed by the name of the variable so say uh, my letter and this equals ascii value of a and similarly i could also go ahead and store a number so this number can be uh, anywhere between 0 to 255 now if i do not write any quotes the compiler does not convert it into us i mean the corresponding ascii code it just takes whatever number it is like say for instance if i write 255 it takes it as 255 in decimal by default what you write uh, without any uh, prefix it takes it as decimal so say if i want to store ascii of this number so what i would be using instead of this is 0x ff so uh, 0x stands for the hexadecimal notation and if i want to store binary of this what i would be writing is 0b followed by the number now since this is pretty simple and fairly clear let us go ahead and move to the next data type so the next data type it is called the signed char so the next data type it's it's called the signed char and again so there's nothing much to it so uh, this is again 8 bits in size but the but but the 8 bits that you have here 
out of the eight bits. Out of the eight bits, only seven of these are used to store actual values. And the last bit that you have, or the most significant bit that you have, is uh, used to store a sign. So this this bit that you have, it uses this is called the sign bit. And this sign, it could be positive or negative. So if it is zero, it means the following number is positive. And if it is one it means the number is negative and so this is the sign bit and what you can store from this is seven locations and this is i mean if you have heard this before the numbers the negative numbers that are stored are stored in two's complement form it's a representation for positive and negative numbers. We will not go into detail of this, but I'll tell you what the range of negative numbers, uh, negative and positive numbers you can store with this. So it goes something like this. It's minus two to the power, how many bits we have. So it is seven in this case, two, two to the power plus seven minus one. So that in effect would be minus 128 to plus 127 so now the name is a little confusing so it says a character data type and uh, it is usually used to store positive or negative numbers which lie between minus 128 to plus 127 so so these are two basic data types that you have now let us go ahead and look at the next type now the next data type is unsigned int and uh, the char was just 8 bits this is 16 bits so uh, basically you can store numbers from 0 to 2 to the power 16 uh, or 0 to the power 16 minus 1 so that would be that would be from 0 to let's say let me just pull that up so this would be 2 to the power 16 minus this is 2 to the power 16 minus 1 so this is 65 535 so if you have any number between this 0 and 65 and 35 you'd be using the unsigned int as the data type now similar to unsigned int there is an signed int so as again uh, as again we saw uh, with the unsigned signed char so uh, this is again 16 bits but the last bit or the most significant bit is used to store the sign so eventually the range would be minus 2 to the power 15 to 2 to the power 15 minus 1 so that would be if you do that that would be 32768 to 32767 similarly you have uh, other data types which uh, which are which are uh, which are long float and double and all these data types for AVR uh, for the GCC compiler that you'll be using a 32 bit and range for all of this is so the long is basically a simple number so it would be the range for this is 0 to 2 to the power 32 and again uh, you will have unsigned and signed long so so this is 0 to the 2 power 32 minus 1 so this is a pretty big number so this will be 4 2 9 4 9 6 7 2 9 5 I don't know how much that is so you just figure it out so it's a pretty big number to represent and the float and double these are 
these are uh, these are used to uh, store numbers which are very minute to uh, to the numbers which are very big and uh, there are floating point standards as to single precision double precision and all of that so uh, we look at floating point numbers uh, when we are doing something with analog to digital converters or when we are uh, reading data from sensors which is very uh, low say in micro volts in all those cases we'll look at float now to just look at the range uh, at what the float and the double represents it's plus or minus 1.175 into e to the power minus 38 now this is e to the power minus 38 so you can imagine how small this value is going to be and this is the uh, you know this this is the minimum and the maximum is 3.402 to e to the power plus 38 now this is pretty huge so this is a huge number and uh, that you can store and this is stored in just 32 bits so uh, we look at this when we have a problem of that sort because uh, it is it is uh, a little difficult to comprehend and look at that a little later now now apart from this there is one little uh, confusion that you should be having like with respect to uh, the character data type that you and that we mentioned so the character data type it is used to store i mean it is primarily used to store characters or you could also store numbers so uh, instead of using uh, this i mean to clear this ambiguity what programmers often use are called the standard int types and what these standard int types do is they, they define a data type for a particular purpose like say if I want uh, to use an integer I mean a data type to store an integer which is 8 bit what I will be using is uint 8 underscore t so this is an unsigned integer of 8 bit width so i know that the value of this or the range of this is 0 to 255 similarly you have a data type of u and 16 t and this goes from 0 to 65 535 so similarly you have u int 32 t so this is helpful because it explicitly tells us that the variable that you're using you're storing a number into it and not a character and let me pull up the avr studio and i'll show you how you can include these additional data types with the standard library so so this is the uh, window so there's a library called standard end so if you include that So you can use this version. So this is the standard in data type. And as soon as you do that, you will have options to define integers of required types. So say this for instance. So this is all that I want to tell you in this video. In the next video, we'll possibly uh, interface uh, some leds with all this background will interface simple leds and do a hello world in embedded systems thank you for watching